The Boston Globe is reporting the legal team for Lori Loughlin will receive documents from USC ahead of her trial in the college admission scandal. There are also reports that Lachlan's daughters could be called as witnesses. Mercedes Colwin is a Fox News legal analyst. Good morning and welcome. Great to see you, Ed. Your good, first week this yeah, is awesome. Yeah, it's good to have you here. We've been friends for a long time. Uh, what about sure. using the daughters as like a pressure point? That's an excellent point, exactly. I mean, the prosecutors are looking at these two, Lori Lachlan, her husband, saying, you haven't pled. You have seen dozens of other parents plead guilty. We've already put additional charges. Remember when there was a whole flood of these plea deals, mm -hmm. they were only initially charged with conspiracy to commit fraud. They didn't plead. Suddenly the next day or the two days thereafter, the prosecutor said, you didn't plead guilty like all these other parents. So I'm going to now charge you with fraud. Got lighter with lighter sentences? Sure. Oh, lighter sentences and less charges. Mm -hmm. They were now, of course, they're facing laundering charges too, money laundering charges, which is very significant. So this is their last point. If you don't plead, like all the others, mm -hmm. we're not going to use your daughters and implicate your daughters. Right. And so could they be charged as well? Oh, sure. The daughters can be charged. I mean, and there's lots of talk about, well, couldn't they have been involved? Any parent out there where they're going through this, this college application process, their kids are involved. They're writing essays. Mm -hmm. They're answering questions. Unless you hire someone, I don't know of parents who've done this, unless you hire someone to say, hey, stand in as in a complete proxy to my yeah. child, which we've seen this in this scandal that some of these, these parents have allegedly done, that they are the, the children are involved. So, so that's great. Put the kids on that stand. The prosecutor is now saying, hey, now your kids can face charges. Are you willing to now plead? Right. What you're laying out is a very risky strategy then. I mean, obviously, if they're somehow exonerated, everything's great. But if they're not, right. instead of a plea deal and a light sentence, you could be going to jail for a long time, Laurie Lachlan, exactly. and now your daughters can be a plea deal. Why in the world would an attorney suggest take that risk? It's a, it's a great question. I mean, as a defense attorney, you really do go through these pros and cons and really lead your, your client in the best path, at least the two paths. I'm not entirely sure. I really think that they hedged their bets. They believed initially, you know, the conspiracy to, for, to commit fraud. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it was a very significant charge, but they never anticipated that you were then going to be facing money laundering charges right. when they didn't plead initially. So I think it was a gamble and a gamble that, frankly, given all of the other parents who've pled who really have light sentences, yeah. to your point, it was a gamble they should have they lost. We'll be watching. Mercedes Coleman, Great appreciate you coming in. Great to be here. Thanks, Ed.